Powerland Dots and Meat, 2023 in Oregon. So this year I went on Saturday, so all my video footage will only be of the cars that were there Saturday afternoon. I'm going to do a walkthrough and get an overview of all the cars, and then later on in this video I will get some more details of a few of the Dotsons. Got a really good variety cars, trucks, even some right hand drive. Lots of vendors selling things. Uh, they really focused on swap meat this time, so there are dots and uh, parts for sale all different models. Z bumpers. Flush side marker lights in there. One in the L28. And 
very surprised to see this, a Mazda rotary engine. Taking out the original gauges, put in some aftermarkets there, some more of that uh, same artwork around it. And a 610 coupe. Another very rare car. I love how these back windows roll all the way down, and you got a big open side window with no pillar between them, the front and back. Tiny little wheel on the driver's seat with violet emblems. Either this is an early version of the car with those bumpers or it has European bumpers. And here's what you don't see in the US that often is a sunny right-hand drive ute, a little unibody truck. protective bars over the back window, which was very common in Australia and Japan. Notice it still has four lug wheels, unlike our small trucks, Datsun trucks that have six lug. And any right-hand drive car should have these fender mirrors on it. Very nice example. 1200 coupe, another Datsun you don't see that often, except that these meets, the several of them come out. Got the original J series engine, side draft Weber. This one has flares with wide wheels there. behind 16-inch wheels. Good-looking interior. Flared 510, nice big and wide wheels. Subwoofers in the back. Looks like that might be 280ZX uh, brakes up front. Running a KA24 engine.
tiny little side mirrors. Not sure what brand seats those are. The subwoofers are larger diameter than the steering wheel. Bed hooks are taken off. It's got a louvered plate between the rear tail lights to kind of tie that all in together. Chromed handles, traction bars underneath, and the, the chrome cap on your diff, which is definitely the style back in the 70s. Also notice the side marker lights. They uh, lowered them to be in line with the bumper. Chrome the wiper cowl, have a, a hood scoop. Okay, engine. Probably 1971. It has the 15-inch 280ZX turbo wheels on it. And they've even brought out the old 1914 tractor steam powered. I'll have a, another video of that up. And that's it for this year's Powerland. Um, I was only there on Saturday. I will post a link to Steve's video, who he was there both days. 